What's good, y'all, man? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another vlog. It's your boy, Nick. And we back with another video today. We got something different today. Haven't done this in, like, two years. But we back with a muck main today. You know what I'm saying? As you see, boy, got some goddamn pole and shit like that. Um, before we get into today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Share the video. Share the channel. It's going to be something chill. You know, we're almost to 200 subscribers. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate all the love and support y'all guys continue showing me. Make sure you follow the second channel. Uh, I'll be uploading there constantly throughout the week. So make sure you subscribe to that. I might switch my chair out, y'all. I might, I might switch my chair out. Hold up. Let me see. The wooden chair ain't really. Well, the, the, the prickly chair ain't really doing it. So I'm probably just going to. Uh, for this right here. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Yeah, uh, like I was saying, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, all that shit, bro. I haven't done this in about like two years. You know what I'm saying? I haven't really sat down with y'all and talked to y'all while I ate and shit like that. So there's a lot of stuff to catch up on. On my Instagram and my Snapchat and on my YouTube page, I asked y'all. Um, let me know if there's any questions that y'all want me to answer. Um, I didn't have a vlog for this week or last week, and I didn't want to be behind by three weeks. So I was just like, hey, let's go ahead and do a mutt bang. You know what I'm saying? Something chill, something light, catch y'all up with life and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you boy had to get the chips with the queso and shit like that. Let me turn it down a little bit. And Bo's literally right here. He, I literally just fed this, fed this dude. And shit, and this nigga on some weird shit. I'm gonna try to keep this uh, as short as possible, as possible as I can, and shit like that. So, ooh, yeah. Gotta get a thumbnail. All right, that's straight. <laughs> that's straight. These niggas didn't even give me no goddamn utensils, y'all. They didn't even give me no goddamn utensils. Hold up. Cause I'm ready to grow in, y'all. I don't know about y'all. I'm ready to grow in, goddamn. Yeah, y'all probably wondering what your boy got and shit like that. Uh, I got a Sofritas bowl, that's what I get from Chipotle. Uh, shredded cheese, uh, salsa, they put the wrong salsa in. I saw it, but she already put it in there. Um, corn, uh, brown rice, obviously, chips and queso. Shit like that. Hope y'all having a good day today. And shit. I've had a very proactive day. I didn't work or have school today. Um, so I had the goddamn, I had to, I went to the gym today. Woke up late, but that's cause I streamed. Well, I, I went to bed pretty solid, but I was tired. So I woke up, I woke up at like, I woke up at like seven, but then I sort of, do, I dozed back off and I didn't get up to like about like 11. You know what I'm saying? So honestly, adding that extra onion actually make that shit pop. I ain't gonna hold you. But yeah. Um, Went to the gym, played a little bat basketball, worked out. I did back and chest today, and basketball was my little cardio and shit. Came back, took Bo to the park, you know what I'm saying, for about 30 minutes. Let him have some fun. Came back, got cleaned up. Here we are. <laughs> and here we are. But yeah, like I said, got some, uh, y'all um, gave me some questions to answer. But I gotta eat, cause I only ate like a bowl of fruit when I got back from the gym. And mind you, that was at like 2 o'clock, so I barely ate today. That shit too good, y'all. Shout out Chipotle. Sponsor your boy. Type shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I got some goddamn, whatchamacallit for y'all. Some questions from y'all on Instagram and Snapchat and things like that. So we about to answer this motherfucker right now. All right, first question. So I ask, what's the craziest thing you've ever done? Yeah, I don't really be doing a lot of crazy shit. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't really done a lot of crazy shit. Well, not as much as regular people do. My age, I just be chilling. But if I had to say the most craziest thing I've ever done, um, uh, oh, I'll probably say, Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know. I'd probably say one night I, I drank a little bit too much and I was all out with the club, uh, not the club, but I was all out with the crew and shit like that. And I was lit, like I, I was toe up, I ain't gonna hold you. I was toe up one night and I regret. Um, they was going to the club, got in the car with them, went downtown, couldn't even get in and 
I fell asleep in the car. Well, I didn't fell asleep. I chilled in the car while they went in the club. But they was only in there for like 20 minutes. I was towed up. They came back. The rest of the night proceeded. Yeah, that's probably the dumbest shit I've probably ever done before. Like, that entire night was just... I, I made a lot of mistakes that night. So, I was just... Never in my life would I do that shit again. Man, you live and you learn, goddamn. You live and you learn. Alright, next question. Have you ever had a falling out with a close friend? Um, I mean, I've fallen out with people just because I didn't, like, communicate with them. Like, as time goes, you know, you just stop, uh, stop talking to people. Now, I haven't had, well, I would say with females, I've had to ignore females and shit like that off of some stupid shit that they did. But I never really have a falling out with anybody, like, for real, like. I might get upset with somebody or something that they did, but I never really like, I'ma cut you off. You know what I'm saying? I say I have, look, there's nothing wrong with cutting people off. I would say that. If you gotta cut somebody off to move on with your life, do it. But I haven't had that happen. Cause I'm the type of person, I'm mature. I'm mature about shit. So I'ma communicate to you. Like now, if I was placing it, I'ma talk to you about some shit. I mean, if your actions don't change, and you still doing that fuck shit, you're done. <laughs> like, you're done. So, no, I haven't had a falling out with anybody. Yeah, I feel like as my community grows and I continue to level up in life, I feel like I am going to have a situation where I'm going to have to cut somebody off because they just keep on doing stupid shit. I can't be around that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? But my circle is pretty tight. I got some, I got people that I know I can trust and talk to them and shit, so. You know, that shit. Someone asked, what's something you regret doing in the past year? In the past year, so in, in a year time frame. Probably that last, cause that last, like the literally the situation I just talked about, that happened like last year, it's been a year. Cause I was, well that happened in March, so it's been about a year. It's been a year. So I'll say, well, let's, let's do a different situation. Um, I will say there's one situation with this female that I should have just, well, I wouldn't say I necessarily regret that because she showed me who she was. But I'd probably say, bro, life just be, I, bro, I'd be in the moment sometimes. Sometimes I'd be forgetting like what the fuck happened and shit like that. No, I forget. It's just like some shit be happening, bro. I will say there was a situation at the beginning of the year would not do that shit again. I'm not gonna expound on that. Just know I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> Just know that. Someone asked, if you can instantly change one thing about yourself, what would it be? If you saw my stream on the E-Date and shit like that, I had to answer this question to the girl, Nick. Her name is Nick too. Not Nicholas, but her name is Nick. I don't know how to pronounce her full name, but her name is Nick. Shout out Nick. But, bro, there's nothing, because when she asked she, when she asked me this question, she asked everybody, but when she asked me this question, I was thinking from like a physicality standpoint, like, would I change my hair? Would I change my height? Would I change, you know, stuff like that? Because we already answered the question like, what's your most toxic trait? And I said, I'm territorial. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be seeing shit and I don't, sometimes I don't like certain shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm very territorial about my space. Especially when it comes to when I'm dealing with somebody, uh, a female and stuff like that. I'm territorial and I have trust issues because of my past experiences and shit like that. So that's my most toxic trait. I don't fuck around with that shit. And I, I was like, hey, I wouldn't change nothing about myself. She was looking for like an emotional thing. Like, what would I change? Like, what what, what toxic trait would I would I change? That was, that was really the question that she asked. But she asked, what would be one thing that I would change about myself? And like, shit, I like, I wouldn't change my height. Like, I feel like. I am who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't change nothing about myself. You know what I'm saying? My hair, my nose, like, no, I am who I am. I love myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that's why I said, like, I wouldn't change nothing about myself. And that's what got me kicked out the date. <laughs> that's, for me being honest and being like, hey, I, I'm staying on business. I love myself. There's nothing I would change about myself. Personality-wise, physically, like, there's nothing I would change about myself. So, yeah, I can understand from her perspective, it's like, oh, you're not gonna change, but shit. A lot of girls don't like it when, you know, they can't change. What, I'm gonna give y'all some game. 
you will always see, you will always see at least once in your life a woman in a relationship with somebody and this guy can be the most craziest nigga on the planet or thuggiest nigga on the planet, whatever the case may be. And she's still with him and you could be like, bro, why is she still with him? It's because she wants to change him, but she knows she can't. That's what a lot of women do nowadays. They want to they want to change the bad boy, basically. And they know they can't change him, but they, they try so hard. That's why they stay with him so long. You know what I'm saying? Until they really realize, damn, I'm not changing this nigga. He is what he is, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, like, there's nothing I would change about myself. Like, I love my height. I'm short. If y'all don't know, I'm five, five and a half, five, six on, on a good day. Five, six and a half on a good day. I'm short. I want to change that. Um, and I would say when I was younger, I would say my teeth. I did not, because, like, this camera shit, this content stuff, bro, I did not like a camera being in my face, bro. Like, when I was a little kid, bro, like, I had a gap, I had a chip tooth, and my teeth weren't, like, crazy spaced out, but, like, obviously now they're, they're not, but, like, there, there need to be some work. There, need, there, was, there was some work that need to be done on my teeth. And that would probably be the main thing. But now I got that thing, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So... That would probably be like, if I had to go in the past, that would be the one thing I want to change and I got to change. And after that, I was like, shit, we straight after that. Like, because a smile is so important, y'all. Like, a smile is so important. You know what I'm saying? Next question. All right. Do you believe in any conspiracy theories? Most definitely. I feel like. I feel like like when someone calls you a conspiracy theorist, I think that's one of the biggest compliments that you can get. Obviously, if you ain't out of bounds with shit, but like if you're just thinking on a different vibration, I feel like I feel like because it says in the Bible that many are called but few are chosen or something like that. Um, I don't know the specific scripture, but like yeah, like like everybody got there'll be like a select few that are chosen for. To be given the knowledge, you know, saying that they're supposed to be given, and especially in these times that we live in now, because like I ain't gonna get too spiritual on y'all, but like if y'all know the the eclipse that happened, it was the you know what I'm saying I've known about it for years, but it was the sign of the prophet Jonah, where Jonah in the Bible Jonah was supposed to go to Nineveh, but he tried to run away and got um, put a whale on his head. You know what I'm saying? He got stuck in a whale and. Then he eventually got to Nineveh, you know what I'm saying? And there's certain cities in the country that go in Nineveh is the, you know, X mark spot, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but um, yeah, I definitely believe in conspiracy theories. Um, and it also says in the Bible, hey, you seek the truth, the truth will be given to you. You know what I'm saying? So in my walk, in my journey with God, I just, you know, I asked questions and he literally gave it to me. 2020 was my biggest re revelation to a lot of different things. I have a lot of wisdom in a lot of areas People that are close to me that don't even know. Like, I, I know a lot of shit, bro. I know a lot of shit. But, um, we're not gonna talk about that. Because we here for the mud man. Next question. What's the most embarrassing thing? This one asks. What's the most embarrassing thing you've ever posted online? I don't post crazy shit online. My shit is simple. Um, now I'll reverse the question. I've had some... I had people post crazy shit about me and talk about it. So back in high school, I said 11th grade, 11th grade, I was hooping and shit like that. Uh, I think I just, like one of my homeboys was like, hey, pull up to the Y, you know, Prisma Health Center. You know what I'm saying? If you're in Greenville, you know what that is, but Prisma Health Center, my, one of my boys was like, hey, pull up, we about to go hoop, we about to get some runs in. I was like, okay, cool, I'll pull up, fuck it. These niggas automatically put me in the game, right? Didn't get no shots up, no warm up, nothing. These things have already been running for hours. So, like that. so I'm I'm cold turkey. Like I, I, you know what I'm saying? I got my shot right. I'm I'm fucked. You know what I'm saying? And these niggas play high school ball and shit like that. So I was fucked from the from the jump. As the game proceeds, bro, there's this one nigga, bro. There's this one nigga just kept on talking shit to me. I didn't say a word to this nigga, bro. I'm just like. The fuck did I do to you, bro? I didn't say that to him. I'm just like, in my head, I'm like, bro, why the fuck you talking shit? We're in a pickup game at the Y. Shut the fuck up. And obviously, like I said, there's a lot of high school basketball players. So I was, whenever I play against a certain group of people, I always feel like I had something to prove. Because I'm like, I know these niggas be talking shit about me. And shit like that. So every time I play against them, I feel like I had something to prove. So I was always I'm an overthinker, so I'm overthinking shit. 
and shit like that. As the game proceeds, I black the fuck out. In this moment, I black the fuck out. I forget what it was like. I, I'm frustrated in my head. This ain't got in my head and shit like that because it was talking crazy. We down the court. I'm chilling on the three point line. The ball just randomly gets to me. Like somebody shot it or something, and the ball hit the rim and it just got to me. I'm on the left wing. Goddamn. I get the ball. Mind you, it wasn't on my team that shot the ball. We on, I right, we playing defense and shit like that. So I get the ball. I go, mind you, I black out. Mind you, I go down to the hoop. I shoot a floater, swish. But, no, 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 no. Okay. So I get the ball. One of, one of my teammates was like, get, come here, come here, come here. We were supposed to go back down that way. Well, mind you, we were playing full court. So we were supposed to go down back down, down that way. I get the ball. I'm like, fuck that. I'm going. I go down, get in the lane. I shoot a floater. Swish, make it. Everybody just started busting out laughing. I realized what the fuck I just did. I just scored on the wrong fucking hoop, bruh. Whoa! I was like, yo, I'm done. I'm done. After that, I was like, I just sat my black ass down. I was, I was, I crashed out. I was like, bruh, I'm cooked. I'm done. Then, fuck, I ain't gonna say his name, but this nigga, this fuck nigga, ain't that nigga that was talking shit. But this nigga, Proceeds to post. A lot of people found out about that shit. The super shit I just did, right? And this nigga gonna post on the goddamn his Snapchat talking about this uh, Nick Tuggle sucks, something like that. You shot in the wrong hoop, something like that. Something along those lines. I remember your name, bro. I remember. You. I ain't gonna say it on my goddamn uh, my, my YouTube, but I remember all that shit, bro. I was so embarrassed, bro. I was like, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I obviously now, that was like what, six years ago? Five years ago? I'm not worried about that shit. You know what I'm saying? We was all in high school, is what it is. But the only person, right after I did that shit and I walked off the court, my boy Isaiah, you know what I'm saying? He was the only one that came up to me and shit like that. He was like, hey, bro, it's all good, bro. Don't even worry about it. Everybody else started laughing their ass off. But he was the only person, he was the only person that came up to me and was like, hey, yo, it's all good, bro. So shout out my boy Isaiah, you know who you are, bro. If you're watching this, but yeah, that was probably my most embarrassing moment in my life. <clears throat> no cap. All right, let's get into it. Oh lord, somebody asked, "Are you dating anyone right now?" Am I dating anybody right now? Um, is this chicken, my nigga? Not it. But um, somebody asked, "Am I dating anybody right now?" The answer is. I am not. <laughs> I'm not. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling right now. Just focusing on my shit. Now, don't get fucked up. I got my eyes on somebody. You know what I'm saying? I hope so. No, okay. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got my eyes on somebody. But I don't know this girl from a can of paint. You know what I'm saying? I don't know this girl from a can of paint. I'm just letting my game marinate. You know what I'm saying? One time and then one day she, when she posts the right thing, I'm, I'm, I'm sliding the DMs. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I got my eyes on somebody. But right now I'm single. I'm chilling. Um, I don't know if right now, unless it's the right situation. I know it's from God. I don't know if right now. Well, if it's the right situation, ugh, if it's the right situation, I'll date somebody seriously. But right now I just know that I'm just focused on all my stuff right now. Like I got a lot of stuff going on for myself right now. Good shit. I'm just focused on me and them, my relationship with God. That's just the main thing right now. When the time is right, hey, I know God gonna bless me with somebody that is real nice. You get what I'm saying? But I don't believe in that force and shit, bro. I'm gonna force, my, force myself into a relationship. And that's not fair to me, and especially the person that I'll be forcing it with. You know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling right now. You know what I'm saying? But, I, hey, this girl got my eye on. Shit, I, what code I said? I, I, I hope so. I hope so. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I hope, I hope, you know what I'm saying? But if it be God's will, you know what I'm saying? She, she, like physically, she, she right. Right height, right skin tone. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Right height, right skin tone. Face clear, pretty as hell. Got some swag, you know what I'm saying? Low key, you know what I'm saying? But got some, you know what I'm saying? Got a good, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see. We'll see. I'm chilling. I'm chilling right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling right now. Your boy's single. Your boy is single. Chilling right now. Next question. Have you ever broken someone's heart? What happened? I actually have. I was about to say I've never broken someone's heart before. 
but I actually have, and it wasn't intentional. This happened in 2020. Like I said, I ain't gonna say no name, but it just happened in 2020. Um, when my homeboys went to our went to our group chat and shit, and was like, "Hey yo, anybody feeling her? Hey, slide in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, go 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 do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Just he was just like, "Hey, it's up for grabs. Anybody want her? It's up for grabs. So I was like, "Okay, she looks solid. You know what I'm saying? And so I, for sure, I, I added her on Snap and shit like that, and she added me back. Started texting her a little bit. She was like, hey, what you look like? I sent her a picture of what I look like. She was like, oh my gosh, she sent me heart eyes and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, appreciate it. And she sent me some pictures of her. And I was like, okay, you cute and shit like that. And she was like, just cute. I was like, yeah, shit. What the fuck you want me to say? I really wasn't feeling it, girl. It was just something to talk. You know, just have something to talk to, you know what I'm saying? My boy, he already knew what was going on. And his, my boy and his girl, all right. My boy's girl, she was already friends. She's friends with the girl, like good friends. They grew up together and shit like that. So, goddamn, they was trying to, you know, make this a big thing and shit like that. They was trying to link up. Like, he was going to cook something, like make some shrimp or whatever the case might be. We'll pull up to his crib or something like that. And we just chill out. And they, was, they had a whole, like, they had a whole thing going on. And mind you, we, we just got out of COVID. So, I'm like, yo, I'm not pulling up. I told him weeks before, like, bro, I'm not pulling up on y'all, bro. But they kept on feeding in her head that I was gonna pull up. The day comes, nigga, this girl that got her hair ready, she ready for me to pull up, all that shit. I'm like, what are we doing? What are we doing? So that day, I just stopped texting her. I was just like, you know what, I'm not doing this shit no more. So I just, I was like, eh. You know, when you stop liking somebody or, you know what I'm saying, or you just like, you're not interested in somebody, you just take some dry. I started taking her drive and I just start I just ghosted her. I was just like, I'm not dealing with this shit right now, bro. I'm not dealing with this shit right now. So But what I was told, because I didn't pull up, she was started crying and all this shit. She was sad and all this shit. And the crazy thing was, if you know, bro, I was working at Frankie's Fun Park still at the time, 2020, bro. This girl proceeds to pull up at my job, bro. bro. I swear, bro, this girl pulled up to my job. I don't know if I remember if I told her, like, hey, yo, I work here, da 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 da. Like when we was texting each other, shit like that. But, gang, she pulled up to my job because she posted a picture on Instagram, cut a picture on Instagram. She posted a couple. She posted a couple pictures on Instagram and was like, "Hey, I'm right. Uh, you know, with the location Frankie's Fun Park." And you know, she posted some pics of her and shit like that. I'm like, "How the fuck, bro?" And I was. It was a Saturday, bro. I'm lucky I didn't work that day because if I worked that day and I happened to see her at, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. That shit would have been crazy. But thank the Lord, I did not work that day because I. Oh my god. Mm. 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 Lord have mercy. That shit would've been crazy, gang. I mean, yeah, I broke her heart, basically. Even though I didn't really mean to, like, I don't believe in, I feel like being honest with somebody, that's the main thing. Just being honest. But at the same time, some people just, you know, they have their emotions, you know what I'm saying? I've been in a situation where somebody told me that, hey, they don't want to do, they don't want to be around me no more. They ain't feeling me like that no more. But I still have feelings for them, you know what I'm saying? But had to end shit, you know what I'm saying? Gotta move on. Make sure you found this part of the video. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button. Almost 200 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go to the next question. <laughs> Somebody asked, I already know what this is. I already know. Wait, look. Somebody asked, Somebody asked, I already know who it is, but who is your celebrity crush and why? Look, y'all. If you watch my streams, you know who it is. You know what I'm saying? It's Tyler. Tyler, she, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's one of them girls where it wouldn't matter who's around me, bro. It's, um, I don't care what female, I don't even know who it is, bro. Is he on what? You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Yeah, Tyler, she. She's not only she's beautiful, that's obvious, but I like her personality. I like her personality. And I need somebody that's gonna compliment me. Like, if you know me, bro, I'm a very like, I'm a very introverted person. I'm very quiet. I don't like talking to random people, you know what I'm saying? Like that southern shit that southern people be doing. I don't like talking to niggas. That's just me personally. But I feel like she would compliment me. And plus she's a, from a different culture. Obviously she's black, but she's She's African, so I feel like she would give me a different mindset, a different perspective of shit. 
and she's very energetic and chill at the same time, but she's very energetic. So I feel like she would compliment me if that were ever to happen. Who knows if God wants that to happen. You know what I'm saying? And she like the right height. We the same age. I think that shit will work out, y'all. What y'all think? Let me know in the comments. What you, what you think? Nick X Tyler. <laughs> Nyla. Head ass. Let me show. Um, but that's what any girl like. Even if it's not Tyler, but like somebody that this is compliments me. You know what I'm saying? Like if we if I'm at, if I'm having a function at my crib and shit like that, and I got the homies, I got I got the crew with me and shit like that. Everybody pulled up to the crib and shit like that. Like I wanna be that nigga, I wanna be that boyfriend. I want I wanna be like I just wanna be chilling. You know what I'm saying? But she's like, she's so, she compliments me like she's she's extroverted. She's not flirty. She's not flirty, but she can keep the party going. Like, hey, yo, you good? Da, 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 you good? Hey, hey, babe, you want something? You want something? Nah, I'm good, I'm good. Like that type shit, like, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's like, yeah, I need someone to compliment me. Cause I don't believe in that, having the same strengths, bro. Like, where I lack, I need you to be strong at. I don't want, I don't want me and you to be, strong at the same shit you know what i'm saying because then if something happened and we both weak in communication we're done like i saw this someone said like somebody like this for example like finance somebody between the relationship got me strong in finances and one of y'all got black in finances so the person that knows finances can pick the other one up and teach them hey yo we gotta do this this and this you know you you suck like shit at that I got you. I got you. My man. I got you. Shawty. I got you. My girl. My wife. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think personally. You know what I'm saying? Now, I would say the only thing, the only exception to that is communication. If both of y'all are good at communication, then that's going to work out. That's the only exception because if one person good at communication but the other one doesn't, it can still work out. But I don't know. <laughs> if the other person that doesn't communicate doesn't want to communicate, no, no. No, no. Next question. Go to Snapchat. Someone asked, when is high and low coming back? High and low is coming back really soon. It's confirmed. We were supposed to come back last month, back in March. But YG has been editing episode nine. So make sure you tune into that. I don't know when he's dropping it, but it's dropping soon. I don't know when. I don't want to make no dates or anything like that. I don't want to make no confirmation dates, but it's, it's coming back. You know what I'm saying? And I hope it comes back. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of shit is happening. A lot of shit has happened since we filmed that episode. My life, Nez's life, YG's life, like so much shit has happened. So hopefully we can start filming again soon since summer's coming up and shit like that. Somebody asked, when are you getting a new car? Soon. <clears throat> soon. Cars I'm thinking about getting right now, it's between two. I'm thinking about getting a Dodge Charger GT or a Honda Civic Coupe SI. Obviously y'all know my two dream cars is a is a Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon 392 and a Lamborghini Huracan. Those are my two dream cars. So once I get the the Honda, I'm, I'm leaning towards, right now I'm leaning towards the Honda right now. The Honda Civic Coupe SI. So I feel like the Dodge, the Charger, I don't want to be, st even though I don't give a fuck, I'm, I'm the one that's going to be paying the fucking monthly payment. I just feel like a lot of people are going to stereotype, uh, stereotype me and be like, oh, here goes this Atlanta nigga, you know, want scat back, hell cat, uh, SRT. Like, nah, bro, like, nah. It's just, the Honda got some better interior. The Dodge don't be making good interiors, bro, so. Honda, the Honda Civic Coupe SI, interior looks better, interior still looks cool. It's a coupe, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's going to be reliable, for sure. It's gonna be reliable. Honda is one of the most, if the not, if not the most reliable car brand that you can get. So but yeah, once I get that, you know, I get I either I blow up on the content creation shit, or I get the full time job. One year that happened, bruh. Then we'll get the Wrangler after I save up my money. We'll go get the Wrangler. We'll trade the Honda in. We'll go get the Wrangler. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Or I might just keep the Honda and just get the Wrangler. So I have two cars. Fuck it. <clears throat> I definitely want to be able to like, if cause you know, we be traveling a lot. YGTB, we be traveling a lot. We be going to a lot of different places and shit like that. So if Caleb ever need like, hey yo, we need to go to goddamn, we need to go to Johnson City for the weekend. Like the last minute, Kappa's need us for some. But you know, Casey's not able to to make it and shit like that. And obviously we got some other in the group, but like just being like, hey. Hit me up, hey, yo, let's use the Wrangler. Hey, yo, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? I leave the Honda Easy back here. And we just take the Wrangler. We go to Johnson City. You know what I'm saying? That'll be our deal. So, yeah. I right, know. It'll be soon. 
expect a video for that so uh sometime in the summer um you know either next month next month in bay or beginning of june we'll see where we're at you know what i'm saying because i just got my i just got my credit score you know what i'm saying i see where i'm at you know what i'm saying you're born in good range right now you feel me so we're doing good just just doing, i'm doing good understand that your boy doing good you know what i'm saying and you don't know i as you can see i got this, this brand new chain and shit like that shit fire shit like that so i ask where do you see yourself in five years where do i see myself in five years i actually answered this on the e day but i see myself personally like internally obviously i have a better relationship with god that's that's the main thing. Um, and I'm just better into it myself. I'm, you know, five years from now. Like, you know what I'm saying? I have a lot more wisdom and experience from, you know, the past and shit like that. I grow. Because I feel if you stay stagnant, then why are you living? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not growing, then you're not living up to your full potential. And you're not, you're not doing what you're supposed to do on this earth. Like, literally. Life is just a test. Life is literally a test. So, if you're not growing and constantly evolving and changing your mindset and who you are, like, I'm not the same person I was last week, let alone a year ago. Now I say I'm a different person, every time I change, I'm just leveling up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how some of them games start with like a basic ass character, but you keep on leveling up, you know, you get, get your battle armor, you get your sword, you get your helmet, you know what I'm saying? You, you gotta, you know, over time, you get to level 100. And you see where you came from, like, damn. You feel me? But five years from now, that's just me personally. Like, having a better relationship with God, better into myself. Obviously, I will be one of the biggest content creators um, the world knows, if not the biggest, uh, whether it comes to my vlog, or when it comes to my vlogs, my streaming, the podcast, High Love Podcast, YGTV, like I just, you know, in five years from now, yeah, for sure, that's, yeah, because I'm, I'm not stopping anytime soon, I'm too consistent with this shit, and I've came too far, y'all know, y'all see me from the jump, bruh, like, go look at my last month, man, bruh. And see where I'm at now. Just like real talk, bro. Hopefully, if I, I'll be 26 in five years, which is crazy. I'll be 26 years old. So hopefully by then, I can start building my family. Like, hopefully by that time, you know, I found the right woman in my life that I want to build my family with and shit like that. I don't know, by the time I'm 26, I don't know if I'll still be living in Greenville or if I move back to Georgia or... I move out to Arizona. Well, I'm just on a, I made so much money. I live on an island now. I don't know. But well, hopefully by then, you know, I find the right person that I want to spend the rest of my life with. And I want to build a family. And I build a family with them. You know what I'm saying? Because I'll be 26 by then. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I would preferably not to get to 30 and still be single. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's what God has. Him, so, hey. Hey. I mean, some time, but like, by 26, hopefully I'll find the right person by then. You know what I'm saying? Like, because if y'all don't know, I've never been in a seriously committed relationship before. Primarily because God protects me from a lot of shit. And I just end up in situations where God's like, uh -huh, no, you thought that girl was the one, but hell no. <laughs> like, no. Obviously, whether I blow up or not on this, con this YouTube stuff within five years, I'm still be doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna still be doing it because God's gonna give me, give me it when it's the right time. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't want nothing before it's time. All right, someone asked, next question. Biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve? Um, my biggest pet peeve, I'll probably say, you know, whenever. Oh, my biggest pet peeve, I know what it is now. When people touch my shit, I don't like when people touch my shit just randomly. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, let's go back to being the territorial shit. Now, if you were just in my crib and you just chilling and, you know, you know what I'm saying, you pick up the pool stick. Like, that That shit don't bother me. It bothered me when somebody just like, you know, like, for instance, like, when my little brother, when I growing up, whenever I go back to Atlanta and go hang out with my dad, spend the weekend with him and shit like that, my little brother would go in my room and touch my shit and move my shit around. When I told him, don't touch my stuff. Oh! Don't touch my stuff, gang. Why are you touching my stuff? Like, where? Like, why are you touching my stuff? So, I probably say just, people just doing some stupid shit. Like, just moving, like, touching my stuff. And I, like, that shit just makes me uncomfortable. Like, I don't like it. Now, if you just, like, like I said, we playing pool, you pick up the pool shit. That shit don't bother me. But, like, if we just, like, let's say, for instance now, like, for instance now, let's say, like, um, let's just say, 
I don't know. I was like, growing up, that was my biggest pet peeve. And it sort of is now. Like, if somebody just touched my shit randomly, like, fuck you touch my shit for? Touch my shit with intent. Like, that's all I'm saying. Touch my shit with intent. Because I don't do that nobody else. Like, if I go to someone else's crib or what the kids may be, I don't know. I don't do that shit, nigga. Oh, that's a good question. Somebody asked, do you recommend me, go, do you recommend me going to a two-year school or a four-year school? I can only speak from my experience. If you... If you know you want to go to a certain school and that's what requires for your degree, that's so you that's what you know you what you want to do, go to the four-year school. You're gonna have a ball. Make sure you're safe. Um, don't do drugs. Wow. You know, if you you know you wanna go down the route of having sex with a lot of people, hey, make sure you wrap up, whatever the case may be. Um, cause that's what happened today. That's what happened in college. I'm just keeping it real. Just, just keep it real. Just make sure you're safe. That's all I'm saying. Just make sure you're safe. But I will say four-year school. The downside of going to a four-year school, you're going to have a lot of student debt that you're probably not going to be able to pay off. Um, You know, by the life is, but by, you're probably not going to be able to pay that shit off. So, you got that, and you also got um a four-year school. I, I forgot the other reason. But the other reason um to a four-year school, the downside of a four-year school, um, you won't be getting, like, you will, until your junior and senior year, you won't be learning anything about the shit that you're measuring. You know what I'm saying? So, from a two-year school perspective, the downside of a two-year school perspective, you won't be really getting the college experience. It's just really school. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you won't have that college experience. Going to the football games, going to the basketball games, being variety of different women you know what i'm saying um probably join a fraternity you know what i'm saying or a sorority what the case may be but i will say a two-year school is really good because most likely it's free tuition um goddamn you're most likely gonna be close to home you know what i'm saying so if you get homesick go straight down the street you know what i'm saying and it's free you don't gotta you don't gotta deal with none of that uh, extra shit it's it's free you know what i'm saying and which is big. That's why I'm glad, cause I can speak to my experience. If y'all know, if y'all know me, this is why I started. A lot of people don't even know this. Um, a lot of people don't know this. But summer 2020, I was grinding my ass off for basketball. I'm talking about four or five week or well, workouts a day. My mom could speak to it. I have footage of that shit. I was gonna go to Georgia Southern University. It's in Savannah, Georgia. Middle of fucking no. Well, it's not Savannah, Georgia. It's like 30 minutes from Savannah, Georgia. Like 20, 30 minutes away from Savannah, Georgia. But it's in the middle of the jungle. Ain't shit down there. I, I took a visit there. Ain't shit down there. Real talk. Got down. It's like four hours, away, four and a half hours away from Atlanta. And probably like six hours from me. So I committed to going to Georgia Southern University. I went down there, got a visit, did a visit and shit like that. Even though it really didn't feel like home to me, it, it was the closest thing that felt like home out of my options. Because I got accepted to, I want to get the fuck up at that moment in time. I want to get the fuck out of Greenville. Like a lot of people my age want to do it, but I stayed here. But I got accepted to Coastal Carolina, Georgia Southern University, Georgia State University. I got accepted like Limestone and shit like that. USC didn't accept me. Probably because of my test score and shit like that. That SAT, ACT bullshit. Fuck that shit. That's the most dumbest shit ever. I probably would have gotten accepted into Clemson, but I applied too late. I think that was the same thing with USC. Yeah, those are schools I got accepted to. There's some more, but the main ones. Coastal Carolina, Georgia Southern University, and Georgia State University. I did not, I was not feeling coastal. I was like, hell no. We right by the beach, but no. And I'm glad, because so much shit be going on at coastal, bro. It'd be wild out there in the coastal, at coastal Carolina. But Georgia State... For a split second, I was like, oh, yeah, I get to go back home. I'm in the city, all that shit. But same time, I'm in the city. I'm like, I'm not really a city boy, bro. Like, as soon as I walk out my dorm, I walk out of class, I'm right next to a hobo. Like, I don't want to do that shit. And so that was a no to that. You no, know, hearing street siren, I'm like, no, that shit would have been dope. But no. And George said, I was like, hey, fuck it. So as the summer was going on, in my account, I would constantly see like a $9,000 bill in my account. But I really didn't think much of it. You know what I'm saying? So, by the day, the day I was supposed to leave, the day before I was supposed to leave, I was supposed to go pack, my dad was ready, he was going to drive from Atlanta all the way to George Southern, also some other family members, my mom would pack shit up, you know what I'm saying, about to head out. I go to my mom, she was sitting on the couch, she was sitting on the couch, and she, uh, I was like, hey, yo, mom, what is this $9,000 bill that's in my account? And she looked at me, and she was like, oh yeah, you gotta pay that before you go walk on the campus. I was like, oh! 
Hell no. Nah. We middle, middle class, middle, high class people. We don't have $9,000 just right up our ass. Like, hey, here's $9,000, fuck it. We don't got, no. So my mom was like, look, and shout out my mom, she's probably gonna watch this, but my mom was willing to take out, cause it would've came out, it, it was 9,000 per semester. So if you do the math with that, it would've came to about like 40, 50,000 for four years, but then we would have taken out a loan, a student loan. That's how niggas get you with that shit. With the goddamn uh, interest rate, it would have been over a hundred thousand dollars for four years of school at Georgia Southern. Oh! My mom was willing to take out a hundred thousand dollar loan. She was like, look, Nick, if this is what you really want to do, because she had a dream about that shit. She was like, I think she prayed about it or something like that. And she was like, okay, God, where, where's my son I don't want to go? And she got like this vision of like a hawk or something like that. And she was like, okay. And that's the, the mascot for Georgia Southern. It's a bird. So she was like, look, Nick, if this is what you really want to do, we'll go on Sally May and we'll take out this loan. But look, you can go to uh, you can go to Greenville Tech for two years. Do what you got to do. You can you either get your degree or after the two years you want to transfer, we can do that. You know what I'm saying? And figure out some scholarship plans, what the case may be. But if you want to do this, it's your decision. It's your life. I'm not going to stop you for what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to support you. That's what she told me. And I had to make a big decision on that. That was the biggest decision I've ever made in my life. Because I was like, man, I'm going to go walk on to Southern. I'm in contact with the coaches and shit like that. Like, I'm about to walk on, play basketball. Because my dream was making it to the NBA. You know what I'm saying? Walk on, you know, do it. Uh. I went that there. I like, I like the vibe of it. Not fully. I really wanted to go to UGA, but University of Georgia. And I was like, I, I, I fuck with this in Georgia. You know, I'm getting a college experience. What the case may be, cool. But I, I prayed about it. After a couple of days, my mom was like, hey, Yo, what are we gonna do? I was like, I talked to my uncle about it, talked to some family members about it. I was like, I'm gonna do the two year program, I'm gonna go to Greenville Tech. And that took so much out of me because I'm like, yo, my bad. Because Greenville Tech don't got no goddamn basketball team, nigga. I know I can go, bro, I'm gonna be a junior. If I were to transfer, I'll be a junior, bro. Ain't nobody gonna let no junior walk on, bro. Like, no, nigga. So I was like, okay, if I go to Georgia Southern, I'll be four and a half to about six hours away from home, whether I go to Atlanta or Greenville, I'm gonna be homesick, I'm gonna be in student debt under $100,000 in student debt, Joe Biden clearing some people's shit up, but I would have been $100,000 in debt, going to a four year program in the middle of nowhere, I'm not even in a city, bro, like, I'm 30 minutes away from Savannah, but ain't shit in Savannah, bro. Um, you know, whether I make the team or not, probably not gonna make it, what the kids may be, they're gonna be like, ah, you, you, you're nice, buddy, but no. Um, but yeah, like, that was a big decision. I would have to give up. The main thing was, uh, okay, if I do this shit, I'm giving up basketball. But God works in so many mysterious ways to where, in the back of my head growing up, uh, like 2017, all the way to while I was making this decision, I watched hella DDG. Like, I would watch his vlogs and shit like that. I'll be like, yo, like, I like the shit that he's doing, bro. Like, he's just living life. He's just recording his life, but he's living life. Nobody telling him when to wake up. Do none of that shit. He's his own entrepreneur, his own business. He's doing whatever the fuck he wants. That's the lifestyle I want to live. So I'm like, okay. If I go to Green with Tech, I might just start a YouTube. Fuck it. Might as well start YouTube and shit. Fuck it. So, what I do is, I go to Green with Tech. You know what I'm saying? Do my two years inside that, and I just go get my associate. So, literally, in September, I made my YouTube channel, and ever since then, we haven't looked back and shit like that. And that was the biggest decision I ever made. And I'm so thankful I made that decision, Brad, because I would have been done next year in school if I went to Georgia Southern, but, Brad. Uh, that, cause think about it, bro. I probably would, I never, uh, like, so much shit would be different, bro. Like, I wouldn't have the friends I have now. I still have my high school and middle school homeboys, but like, I wouldn't have some of the friends and connections I make. Like, bro, y YG and Young Jim and other brand has done like a lot of shit for me, bro. Like, I met so many different people, connections. I met famous producers. I met, uh, I've worked for magazine companies i've you know I, I met so many different people like through that shit bro and i never would have met i never would have met um uh why <clears throat> i never would have i never would have met yg Keon if i did not um if i did go to Georgia southern i wouldn't have met them if i went there and y'all probably wondering like how did i meet them i met them at uh it was a mayor's ball of it i'll see here in greenville 
I'm part of this. I don't do that shit no more. I'm still part of it. I'm affiliated with it. But I was part of this I'm the initiative. It was the African American Bail Initiative Program. And obviously it's African American males and there's like, hey, volunteer here, da da da. And at first I wasn't gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? But my mom was like, hey, just do it. And then the next day I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. I might meet some cool people there, but I wanna see if there's some nice women in there. You know what I'm saying? So I go and I meet them there. Um meet uh, Caleb and Keon there and I hanged out with them afterwards and shit like that. Um, well, during that, I thought they worked for the embassy or whatever the case may be, but I didn't know that YG was a DJ, photographer, videographer, well known, you know what I'm saying? Worked with a lot of old, various other people. And Keon is Keon, you know what I'm saying? These guys have motion. I also met Portia, shout out P. Um, I also met um, Sydney, she she used to work at Shane. I don't know if she still works there or not, but I met her there. Uh, I met Markel, you know, people in the brand know who I'm talking about. So. Afterwards, I met them. Well, I hanged out with them and shit like that. Like, I I stayed there to about I stayed at the hotel because they had YG had a room there, so I stayed there to like uh, three in the morning. Cool as hell. And the day afterwards, Keon came to my dorm room. You know, because they were basically trying to recruit me and shit like that. So I'm like, yeah, you know, I would love to, you know, hang around with y'all shit like that. And then I moved to Atlanta for the summer. I moved back to Atlanta for the summer, and I would I would be in contact with Keon. Be like, he'd be like, yo, how you doing? You like, how you doing? Shit like that. I'm like, I'm doing good. Shit like that. And then uh, crazy shit. Ke Caleb was asking Keon, yo, give me this nigga's number, bro. Why are you taking so long? So Keon gave me uh, Ke Ke uh Keon gave Caleb my Instagram shit like that. Caleb hit me up. He was like, hey, yo, bro, like you still trying to do this vlogging shit. I'm like, yeah, shit, fuck it. And then ever since, I'm obviously moved back to Greenville and you see the goddamn behind the scenes. That was like two weeks before I moved back. And then I moved back and then uh, moved into my new dorm and shit like that. And I got the um, the goddamn, uh, what you call it, party? The YG's brand anniversary. It was the third brand anniversary party. Third and a bit. Third anniversary Third brand anniversary party. Shit. God damn it. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. What time is it? I'm seven o'clock. But yeah, this shit is probably 40 minutes long. And my time I cut down, probably like 30, 30 minutes. So I'm gonna cut this shit short. I need to go stream in a second. It's seven o'clock right now. Yeah, guys. Um, Appreciate y'all for the love and support. I got here to show you, boy. I know I don't have a vlog for this week. <laughs> Hey, look, make sure you subscribe to my shit because this summer is about to be in fucking sane, y'all. Like, look, and I need to start posting more on Instagram, like pictures like that, because I be having that shit on, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, yeah, boy, I did this hat, I started chain with the boob, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of, uh, I got so much drip in the closet I haven't worn yet, bro, but I'm like, I'm collecting. Uh, I got a lot of shit on the way and shit like that, but yeah, your boy about to be looking fresh this summer, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'll tell you, bro, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the page, bro. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, bro, because next Sunday, not this Sunday, because you're going to see this this week. So not this coming Sunday, this week, the week of the... 23rd, not this, not this, but next Sunday, Cinco de bro, it's about to be on, bro. I don't even want to end the day before that, bro. We got a gauntlet of shit that we got to do, because goddamn May 4th, we got social attitude, because it's the first, um, it's the first, uh, Saturday of the month, so obviously, why is you going to be spending there and shit like that? Make sure you pull up where the kids may be at social, you know what I'm saying? Shout out social latitude, we love y'all, you know what I'm saying? Um, but then the next day we have, no, I don't know how it goes, but we got like, he's DJing at Tipsy Taco, then doing Social Attitude, or he's doing Social Attitude, then the next day he's doing Tipsy Taco for Cinco de Mayo, and then we got, shout out Diamond, she just graduated, but we just got, uh, we got Diamond's uh, graduation party, which is a cowboy theme. <laughs> It's a cowboy theme graduation party. I just got, I just got my cowboy hat and shit like that. I'm, whatever gets here, gets here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find some boots. I don't really want to be spending no money on no boots. I'll buy a hat, but I don't know if I want to spend no money on getting some goddamn boots because I'm only gonna wear them since once. You know what I'm saying? But we'll see. Uh, if I wear a hat, I'll be straight. They ain't gonna keep me out. They ain't gonna keep me out. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, basically the day party that y'all saw last year is gonna be like that, but cowboy. Yeah, it's gonna be that with Cowboy thing, and it's probably gonna be ten times as crazy because 
<sighs> Lord have mercy. I don't. Mm. I took off that entire day of work because I usually work Sunday. So I took off that day of work. I was like, I'm not fucking with y'all because obviously I wouldn't be able to go if I had to work. But like, shit, I'm making sure I take off because I'm. Look, I don't want to have to get drunk. But if I get drunk, I get drunk. You know what I'm saying? There's gonna be a whole lot of liquor, ass shaking, all type of shit. So make sure you subscribe for all that shit, man. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this shit, man. I love every single one of y'all guys. I appreciate y'all, man. Make sure y'all stay focused on what the fuck y'all got going on, bro. Like, for real, don't worry about, don't worry about that female or that, that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Don't worry about, don't worry about the, them distractions, bro. Just stay focused on yourself. Continue to work hard. And you know, the boy won't continue to keep on working hard, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm in a good place in my life. I got a lot of shit going on, but it's good shit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just thankful that I'm able to keep on doing this shit. Y'all, we've come so far, bro. We've come so far. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be three years in September I've been doing this YouTube shit, bro. So I just thank y'all, man, for the love and support y'all guys can just show me, bro. Um, make sure you pull to the Twitch streams. Follow me on my second channel. Uh, subscribe to the High Little Podcast. Stay updated when episode 9 will drop. Um, follow me on TikTok, bro. Because, bro, I don't know if I said this, but the, the Drewski Birdman clip is at 120,000 views right now. So thank you to y'all. And one of the clips I made about Quan and shit like that, that's at 30K. You know what I'm saying? Um, I posted, obviously I post on TikTok every day. But, um, but I think, but TikTok be hoeing niggas, bro. I ain't gonna delete that shit. TikTok be hoeing niggas. They, they be muting my sounds on fucking mad. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this shit off. Hope you enjoyed today's video, man. I don't know when I'm gonna post this shit, but this will be posted this week. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to get too by, far behind on the vlogs and the content on the main channel. Because the main channel is the main channel. That's the priority. But yeah, I love y'all guys, man. I'm gonna catch y'all guys in the next vlog and shit like that, man. I love y'all guys, bro. I'm gonna catch y'all guys in the next vlog. See the ice, though? You see the ice, though? Okay, let me go, let me go. I love y'all guys. I'm gonna catch y'all guys in the next vlog. No cap.